What's up everyone and welcome to another episode where we're going to talk about a cyber gang that popped up on researchers radar in November 2021. That's only three months ago and according to estimates this gang has already hacked over 20 companies. And that number of 20 is just the ones posted on their leak site. Who knows how many companies have paid the ransom to keep things quiet. We're talking about Black Cat, also known as Alf or Alf 5. This gang is so confident that they're giving interviews. That seems pretty loud for an industry that tries to stay under the radar to avoid government interference. Now there are groups that have been around for many years who are still successful with their attacks. Most are pretty targeted in terms of industries they attack, for example. You may remember the episode I did on apt TA2541, which specifically focuses on the aviation industry. That group has been around since 2017. Now, in case you missed that episode, the link is above. This story we're going to talk about today is about a group that is using much more sophisticated ransomware that can be used on numerous operating systems, and their tactics are much more aggressive. Now, I hope you'll watch the full episode, but in case you already know the story, you can now skip directly to my insights at the end of the episode, right from the timeline below. For the rest of you, let's go through the story together and see what we can learn to protect ourselves and others. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. With ransomware techniques and tactics continuing to evolve, threat actors are starting to grow in technological sophistication. Recently, threat actors known as ALF V or ALF 5, behind the new ransomware as a service group Black Hat, have proven that attackers are learning from past mistakes and are developing new ways to get the financial reward they seek. This threat group has since garnered a reputation for aggressively posting details about its victims publicly. Roughly two dozen have been posted on the group's extortion site over the last two months alone. Recent reports emerged that German cybersecurity officials believe the group is responsible for the recent attack on two German logistics companies, which led to oil supply disruptions across hundreds of gas stations. Black Hat ransomware was discovered by researchers in November 2021. The threat actors recruit affiliates to perform corporate breaches and equip devices. So far, the cybercriminals behind the ransomware have compromised more than 20 companies and have named those companies on their leak site. Now, those are just companies that maybe have not paid the ransom. What about all the companies that have paid and just want to keep things quiet? Congratulations, you're doing a great job by wanting to learn about the ALF5 aka Black Cat Cyber Gang. I appreciate your support by watching my episode about it. If you are new to my channel and have not yet already, please consider subscribing to my channel and smashing the bell to be notified when I upload new episodes where I give you insights into the newest important cybersecurity news stories like this one. With my insights, you can be better prepared to protect your company, your family, and yourself against these and other cyber attacks. So hit that subscribe button now and let's continue to learn about this story together. The Black Cat leak site has been active since early December 2021, and there is speculation that the total number of victims, including those who paid ransom, is far greater than 20. Most of the time, victims who pay ransom don't want to risk exposure. ALF-5's ransom demands range from 400000 to $3 million, with victims being given the opportunity to negotiate a lower amount if they choose to pay ransom. They can also choose to pay in privacy, preserving Monero or Bitcoin, but paying in Bitcoin adds 15% to the ransom amount. Although the largest number of the threat actors' victims are in the U.S., ALF-5 and their affiliates are attacked or have attacked organizations in the Philippines, as well as Europe. The victims being attacked are in retail, transportation, construction and engineering, telecommunications, and pharmaceuticals. Now, although AL5 claims to be an apolitical group who doesn't attack the healthcare sector, one of the victims on the leak site was from the healthcare industry. AL5 stated that while they don't attack medical institutions like hospitals, the rule doesn't apply to pharmaceutical companies or private clinics for like liposuction or facial changes like getting a nose job. Black Hat ransomware allows for attacks on a wide range of corporate environments. Targeting both Linux and Windows systems, Black Hat is coded in the Rust programming language. Researchers believe that this is the first time a ransomware group has used Rust to write a ransomware strain. Cybersecurity analysts state that Rust is a much more secure programming language compared to C and C++. Because Rust is so secure, it'll be difficult to find coding weaknesses. 
Security defenders often look for those weaknesses in ransomware strains, and if more threat actors are shifting toward Rust, it'll be more difficult to find the weak areas. By using Rust, L5 operators are able to compile it against various operating systems or operating system architectures. A representative from the group, which has also been called Black Cat, in some reports agreed to talk to the recorded future analyst Dimitri Smilyanets about the group's background, its intentions, and plans for the future. The interview was conducted in Russian via Tox messaging and was translated to English with the help of a linguist from Recorded Future's Insect group. When ALF5 interviewed with the record, they listed the following as options available exclusively for what they call adverts, which are advertisers or affiliates, who have reached the 1.5 million mark in terms of payments that they've sucked out of corporations. Calls. You outsource call solutions for calls, or outsource solutions for calls. If communication with the victim is lost, you could try to establish contact by phone. In extreme cases, you can inform competitors about the leak. They offer distributed denial of service attacks. They have their own botnet for performing the most powerful DDoS attacks. This option isn't yet integrated into the panel. It works in a manual mode. Then you have Brute, their own GPU data center, plus outsourcing rented facilities, their own dictionaries and rules. Currently, it is not available. Additionally, they have Mixer. Al5 said there is no process of mixing coins in their platform. When performing an operation, their coins just go into the classic Mixer for subsequent manipulations, and they get absolutely clean and verified coins back. You also have Mega, their own distributed onion storage that simplifies the negotiation process for both their clients and their adverts, or the victims and adverts. In the future, this will allow sharing data on a number of files, like a file tree and or even a file shredder log, to confirm the safe deletion of all existing files to the victim automatically. During the same interview with the record, the Alpha 5 representative admitted that R Evil, Black Matter, Maze, and Lockbit are all connected in some way because they are, in fact, adverts, or advertisers, or affiliates. Alpha 5 went on to say that adverts write software and pick a brand name. Partnerships are nothing without adverts, and there is no rebranding because they have no direct relation to the partnership programs. Admittedly, Alpha 5 borrowed the named group's advantages the good parts about them, and they eliminated their disadvantages. So what can we learn? Well, Al5, also known as Al5NG or Black Cat and Nobirus, is a ransomware as a service threat that targets organizations across multiple sectors worldwide using the triple extortion tactic. Triple extortion meaning they first steal data, threatening to leak it if the ransom isn't paid, then they encrypt the systems, and then the third leg behind it is a new tactic of some gangs where they threaten to hit the victim company with a distributed denial of service attack if they do not pay. That raises alarm bells worldwide and you can't hide the fact anymore that you are under attack and most likely under a ransomware attack. Well, this group took all the cool and dangerous features from older gangs like R Evil, Black Matter, Maze, and Lockbit and they integrated them into their ransomware as a service system. Al5 can be used against Windows and Linux-based systems, including VMware ESXi virtual environments. The group is actively recruiting XR Evil, Black Matter, and Darkseid operators. It has a lucrative affiliate payout of up to 90% payout. It is a Rust-based ransomware executable, which means it's fast, it's cross-platform, and it's heavily customized per victim. They use AES encryption by default. It has built-in privilege escalation, UAC bypass, masquerade, PEB, CVE 2016-009. It can also propagate to remote hosts via PS execute. It can delete shadow copies using VSS admin, and it stops VMware ESXi virtual machines and deletes snapshots. This group demonstrates prior experience in this threat space, such as the use of proven big game hunter tactics, techniques, and procedures. And considering the apparent recent success of over 20 companies listed on the leak site, this threat was likely created by a former ransomware group member rather than some new guy fresh off the street. Going further, some cybercrime forum users have commented that L5 may even be an evolution or rebranding of Black Matter itself as a spin-off or a successor of, say, R-Evil and Darkseid. 
So, considering how complex these gangs are getting or evolving into, learning from the good and bad of their predecessors, the threats themselves are only increasing. So, as I've said too many times to count, like in episodes here on YouTube or Quora posts and discussions with clients, we need to not only have a good cybersecurity plan, like it looks great on paper, but we also need to review it on a regular basis to make sure we cover these new threats, like distributed denial of service attack or mitigation against it. And also, we need to test it to make sure what we plan actually keeps us safe or gets us back online. Think of it like a fire drill. If a fire happens, you want to get out before you burn alive. And if your company goes down, your job is to get it back online as quickly as possible with the least amount of damage. With that, I say thanks again for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already and smash the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Don't forget to run!